Hello, this is a presentation of Improving Social Awareness Through Dante, a deep affinity network for clustering conversational interactives. I am Mason Swafford. And I am John Peruzzi. We will be presenting this paper on behalf of our colleagues. Conversational group detection is important for enabling interactive displays, socially aware robot navigation, and security applications. Displayed here is a system we created which utilizes an Azure Connect and robot to simulate a socially aware interactive display. From the visualization in the middle and bottom right, we can see that the robot is cognizant that it is part of the group formed by the other members of the scene. Prior work on conversational group detection utilized models from social psychology as in three, created graphs to represent a social scene as in two and five, or leveraged data to learn mappings from participant features to groups as in one and prior work from our lab in four. Our approach leverages techniques from graph-based and data-driven methods. To perform group detection, we leverage an existing graph clustering pipeline, which works as follows. Each social scene is captured and the 2D position and orientation of each participant is extracted, typically using an off-the-shelf computer vision algorithm. This scene is modeled as a complete edge-weighted graph where nodes correspond to participants and each edge between two nodes corresponds to the affinity between those nodes, which is the probability they are in a group. The weighted graph is then converted into a symmetric affinity matrix, where element IJ is the affinity between person I and person J. A gl graph clustering algorithm is then used to cluster the groups according to their affinities into dominant sets, a general generalization of maximal clicks to edge weighted graphs. The key step in this pipeline is calculating affinities between participants. Prior work calculates affinities as a function of the position and orientation of the nodes connected by the edge. This is either via heuristics or more recently through data-driven techniques. However, it is impossible to accurately determine affinities between pairs of participants without also considering the social context of the rest of the scene. Therefore, our affinity function takes an additional context input C, which represents the rest of the participants in the scene. We implement this function using a neural network. Here, you can see how our affinity calculation network, Dante, fits into the overall group detection pipeline. Shown is an example of Dante calculating the affinity between persons four and five, and this would be repeated for all dyads in the graph in order to construct the affinity matrix. Zooming in, Dante is composed of a dyad transform and a context transform and a multi-layer perceptron. Now, we will go through how these pieces fit together in the context of predicting affinity IJ. We start with the dyad transform, which takes features from our dyad of interest as input. The dyad transform uses a multi-layer perceptron to find a high dimensional encoding of the inputs. We also input the feature vectors for the rest of the participants into the context transform, which outputs a high dimensional representation of the context features. While a standard multi-layer perceptron could not handle a variable number of context participants and imbues meaning on their ordering, the key idea behind the context transform is the use of the symmetric max function to aggregate context participants' high dimensional features into an overall context feature vector. A final multi-layer perceptron combines the outputs of the dyad and context transforms to output a predicted affinity. Here are the results of our group detection pipeline on standard datasets with labeled ground truth groups. Our method is shown in red, and as you can see, we outperform prior work on the cocktail party and salsa datasets. However, on the coffee break dataset, we perform sim similar to prior work because the participant input features are noisy, which limits the performance of our machine learning based approach. Qualitatively, we can see the importance of the context features via an ablation study where we remove the context transform. Here, the predicted group membership is shown by color and the predicted affinities are shown by line weight. For the scene shown, everyone should be in one large group. However, Dante no context produces lower affinities between person four and the rest of the group because of his distance from them. However, Dante is able to correct for this by using the social context to understand that persons will be farther away from each other when in large groups. In summary, we found that our data-driven methods effectively improved upon prior work. In particular, our incorporation of context information allowed our method to deal with complex spatial patterns without an ad hoc post-processing step. In the future, we would like to incorporate temporal information into the model, as this can improve accuracy. We would also like to build upon the robot setup we presented by applying this technology to the creation of interactive displays in mobile social robots. Please see our website for further results and demonstrations.